Hey, what's up guys? I'm here with an updated video on how to do the social distancing challenge. And this is going to be using the god mode glitch that just got up. Um, well, it was patched, but now I figured out a way to do it solo. And other people have figured out other ways now too. But basically, I'm going to be using my method that I found to do the god mode glitch. And we're going to apply it to uh, the social distancing challenge. Alright, so how this is going to work is you're going to want to stay in the spawn room right here until about round 7. You need to be on round 7 because you need enough money to do all the doors and you need to go through some portals. So you need round 7. That's the earliest um, this method will work. And to do this, I recommend using a shotgun. Uh, I prefer the one I'm using here because I just have it maxed out and it's really strong actually. Better than the other one I think but you can use either shotgun. Um, but basically what you have to do is you have to get to round seven in the spawn area without getting hit. Um, just remember, you, you can't get hit at all in this challenge, not by dog smoke, uh, can't even hurt yourself by fall damage or stuns, basically nothing, no damage. Another thing to note is um, you're not gonna have stamina up in this, but you do take fall damage, even if you have stamina up upgraded. So. Uh, my first video, the reason I didn't get it is because I took fall damage and it didn't show up because I had stamina upgraded. Alright, so I'm just going to explain the rest of what you have to do now. So what you're going to want to do is stay here obviously and throughout these 7 rounds you'll have enough uh, consumables to buy a Molotov. So before you leave this area, you're going to want to buy one Molotov, that's all you need. and. Um, so get to round 7, save a zombie, get a Molotov. That's your first couple steps. Alright, so now I have one zombie left. I use my uh, common consumables to buy a Molotov out of the crafting table. And uh, I didn't get hit at all. Obviously that's important. So you're just going to fall on my path right here. Um, if you saw my last video, it's very similar. But just go exactly where I go and you'll have enough money. So you're going to want to turn on the power, um, jump down, hit each of the terminals, and you have to be careful because the zombie is kind of, he's always in a different spot for some reason, all in this room, so you just got to make sure he doesn't hit you. But turn on the terminals, and then the anomaly portal is going to appear, and you're going to want to go through that. So you're going to hit the portal, and once you get through, you're going to have to go build the pack punch. And I'll just speed it up because everyone should know how to do this. You don't have to watch me do it. So once you put the part into the machine, you're going to want to go up here and wait for this to go away. Also be careful where the zombie is because you don't want him to hit you and ruin your run. But shoot the first orb right here, then I'm going to run over and shoot this one. It doesn't matter the order you shoot these, but this seems to be the easiest way. And 
just make sure before you leave the room that you shot all four of them. Just double check and make sure they're gone because if you're wondering why your glitch isn't working or something, that could be why. So I saved that last orb and you'll see later where I go um, to hit it, to activate it. But basically now what you're going to want to do is go and uh, go into the anomaly portal because we're going to build the ether scope. So there's three parts and the way it works is kind of helpful. Um, wherever you get the portal, doesn't matter. Uh, wherever you get the portal, your first part is going to be in that area. So right now my portal spawned in the pond. So my first part is going to be by the plane because that's the closest part to the pond. Also, make sure you don't get hit by any zombies while you do this. You should just have one, but he's he sneaks up on you sometimes. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the part and I'm going to quickly run over and jump into this portal. That's why you need a little bit of extra money. And also, don't get stuck on that fuse box because that happened to me a couple times. You're going to want to run to the left and the dogs will all be right in front of you right there and you can just kind of line them up and shoot them uh, i got unlucky and my part wasn't there it would have been nice if it was so i have to run up and i have to get the the, the part in the yard and just be aware this whole time you will have that last zombie running around he kind of respawns over the map so he's out of your way but uh, grab the part and this is where you're going to use your ether shroud and you're going to kill as many dogs as you can while in the ether shroud just so they can't hit you and do not run into the smoke otherwise you'll take damage and here's where i go for the last part uh, you're gonna grab it and quickly hit the portal because if you don't spam the portal the anomaly will close and you can't go through it anymore So you got to kind of pick up the part and spam the portal But now this one's kind of weird because the dogs spawn in front of you sometimes they spawn behind you so um, You just got to be really careful on this one, but it's still pretty easy Just uh, kill all the dogs leave your zombie And that's the hardest part of the glitch to, uh, for social distancing because um, the dogs are always kind of exploding and killing you they're hitting you and that's the way i figured out how to get around it but now i build the ether scope pick it up right away and you can go right to the anomaly portal that's one right up here and you're gonna grab it and just go right in i say we shut down the cyclotron so once you go into the anomaly, just don't get hit by this last zombie, and uh, you're going to want to go to your last orb. And you're going to get right where I do, and this is where you use your Molotov. Um, this is the glitch I figured out, and you're going to throw it, and it's actually going to activate the coffin dance, even though you can't see the orb. Um, but yeah, Treyarch thought they patched it, but they didn't. So that works and now what you're gonna do is run over to the book uh, you should know where that is but you'll see right here I'm gonna grab the book and then I'm gonna jump down and activate the ghost and make sure you hit it again because you have to actually hand them the book a lot of people messaged me in my last video saying that they couldn't get the, the next uh, goddess spawn it's because you're not handing them the book so make sure you hand each one the book and also watch out for the dogs that might spawn he didn't hit me here but uh, he could have. Just, just be careful. Normally, they don't really get in your way, but sometimes the game is weird and they do. So I had a couple there. But now you got to get your last, um, your last ghost, and then the book, and then you just got to wait for the portal to run out. Another thing to note is the PSS keep talking while the anomaly closes. So if you do it too early, it might not work. But if you wait for the lights to come on before you do any of the ghosts, you usually have enough time to do it, and it works every time. Alright, so as you can see, um, the dogs aren't going after me, so I'm in the glitch. So you want to just get right to the surface though, because you could actually uh, leave the glitch if you stay down there for too long. Uh, I don't know why it works the way it does, but that's just what it is. And also, do not pick up the coffin, because that will kick you out of the glitch as well. So just don't grab the coffin, just get right to the surface, and you can go anywhere above the map. But I head over to the plains, and it seems to be the best spot. But right now, just 
work on killing the dogs and not getting hit by the smoke because that'll give you damage and that defeats the whole purpose. But I'm gonna fast forward. So this is the spot I like to stand because you can see two piles where the dogs and zombies and everything usually go. Um, right, one right to the left over there and one right to your right. So it's also good because you can kill dogs without having to worry about them exploding on you. So just this is where I would go if I were you. But I'm going to fast forward till around 20 and you'll see basically that it's possible to stand there and you'll get your challenge. This is actually how I did it. So. So the only reason I'm showing you this footage is so you don't uh, think I did something else, but basically I stand here and I get to round 20. So if you want, you can just skip. Um, the glitch is pretty much done. Just like I said, be careful not to uh, get hit by any dogs. Um, and the things with the books and the ghosts, make sure you're hitting it twice because they actually have to get the book. And then uh, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. It might take a couple tries dodging the dogs and a little other uh, things that could be kind of hard but just be careful of fall damage and just make sure if you see something red pop up on your screen you restart your game because you won't get it and it'll just be a waste of time all right so you guys can skip to the end if you want the video is pretty much done here just putting the footage in uh, i just want to say thank you for the support in the last video it's kind of crazy and um i hope you guys can actually do it it's not that hard the hardest part is the dog so just drop it in the comments if you could actually do it. I'd love to see. Peace, guys. Thank you. Destination marked.